Hi, I'm Mac Greeley, reporting for the Media Group for the Diocese of Trenton here in St. Gregory the Great Parish in Hamilton, New Jersey, where we are present for the 18th Annual Men's Conference, New Jersey Catholic Men for Jesus Christ, where our topic today is Dare to Be a Disciple, a day filled with music, dynamic presentations, opportunities for confession, and of course, the celebration of the Mass, and much, much more. Let's check it out. I'm here because it, this rally is not only just a boost in the faith and the spirituality of all men, but it's, it's something, it's food for the journey. It's like an additional um, tool that we have to keep us going, to be better co-workers, to be better husbands, to be better fathers, just to be better disciples. You're with a bunch of other guys like believing in the same thing you do. Like in the real world, it's really hard to get that because you're like always struggling, like, what's this guy going to say, what's this guy going to do? They have been to three of these, um, these rallies. And I'll tell you, every time I come here, they, they invigorate me. Well, I think the greatest part of it is see so many men here, and many of them brought their sons, young sons, and then just to see how rowdy up they are to hear about God, to receive the sacraments, that's why I'm here, to help out with the sacraments of confession, because the men truly want to leave this place clean and full of joy. Gifted presenters helped to flesh out the conference's theme, Dare to Be a Disciple, for the 850 participants from all around the Diocese of Trenton and beyond. Focusing on how to be true men of Jesus, Mike Piazza, Jesse Romero, and Raymond Arroyo left everyone with thoughts to chew on and make real in their day-to-day -day lives. I really like how they like, bring the celebrities in and whatnot. I I just like listening to them uh, and like sharing their experiences and everything like that. One of the beautiful things that I heard about is, is bringing your sword before Jesus. And Jesus, and, and when we hand our sword to Jesus after we die, is it going to be clean or is it going to be nicked and bloodied and scarred for, for, uh, that, that we used it in battle all, all, all of our life? And it really resonated home with me. That and when Mike Piazza gave his testimony about not falling into the whole fame, fortune, nothing stacks up to the fame and fortune of Jesus Christ. It was incredible. And just to hear how, you know, he was in such a extreme circumstance that none of us are really know what it's about to hear him speak about his own journey and how he looked through the Lord to get through that. So that was really inspiring. He said that you definitely had to be strong in your faith, especially dealing with like the stuff that everyday teenagers deal with in high school, especially that you had to put your foot down when it comes to things that, you know, you come across peer pressure, especially. And that as long as you're strong in your faith and you know in your heart that you're doing the right thing, there will be no issue. We hope that the men can take from what they hear today from our speakers and really apply uh, a, like a discipline in their life to, for prayer and for fasting and for almsgiving, everything Lent is calling us for. No matter what age we are, where our station in life is, what our vocation is, we are all called to man up. All we do need to do is look at the scripture. And the person most obvious for us in the scripture is the person of St. Joseph. We know Joseph was the foster father of Jesus. We know that he was the husband of Mary, but look at what he did. When Jesus and Mary were threatened by Herod, his immediate response was to kick in that protective part of himself, to be the husband and father that says my family comes first. I need to get them out of danger. As we dare to think about ourselves as being disciples of Jesus Christ, let us start it on our knees today and every day that all of us may rise committed men for Jesus Christ. Certainly, this 18th Conference of Catholic Men for Jesus Christ has offered all some new tools and energy to man up for God. Oh, I think it's awesome. We all come together as men in Christ, and we all learn just something different with our faith, and that's what makes it really outstanding. It's like a spiritual shot in the arm. You know, when you get guys together in numbers, something amazing happens. When the Holy Spirit's invited, I mean, you can see, I mean, guys are blown away. People have been coming up to me all day saying, this is my first time, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. When was the last time you had one of these? So I say, well, last year, and then the year before that, and the year before that. I leave here better. I, I get uh, kind of in touch with my brothers in Christ. It gives me that kind of similarity and kind of uniformity that I need to know that we're all brothers in Christ. We all have families. This little retreat makes me come home and just be better for my family. 
Invigorated by the camaraderie and confident in faith, the participants here at the 18th Annual Conference for Catholic Men for Jesus Christ are leaving with the message that they are challenged to make real in their homes, in their workplaces, in our world. This is Matt Greeley reporting for the Media Group for the Diocese of Trenton.